Hey, y'all, it's Tig and Daniel from the new Q1041 here with our new friend. Are we friends yet? I'm not sure. I think we're friends. Misty Green, she called up to the radio station. She tried to get us fired like 10 times because one day she heard us on the radio and we're convinced we're from New York City um, because you heard us talking about a horsey that had gotten loose down in Winston-Salem. And we said, well, why don't they just put that leash on that thing and rope that thing up and get it back on the trailer? And that did not sit well with you because we didn't use the right terminology. Well, he said that it was, you call it a, a harness. I said it's a halter. So which is it? It's a halter. Tell him, not me. I know. It's a halter. Okay. okay. So it's a, a halter, you stupid boy. Yes, it's a halter, stupid boy. <laughs> I'm standing just here. I can hear you say these things. <laughs> well, that's not what I really want to say. What do you want to say? My donkey for an appropriate reason. But I can't say it what I really want to say. Just say it. We'll edit it out. I brought an ass today because I thought it was more appropriate. We can't edit that out, actually. So. No, did I. <laughs> so uh, this is actually not a horse. It's a, uh, it's a uh, what is that, a donkey? This would be a donkey. A donkey, which we all know is a mixture between a horse and a mule. No, that's not right. A mule is a mixture between a donkey and a horse. That's what a mule so is. A horse is a mixture between a donkey and a mule. No. You're getting it all wrong. <laughs> well, you wanted to show us how to put on the leash onto the donkey. No, it's not a leash. Okay. This is a halter that goes over your horse. Okay. Yes, can you hold that? My donkey. You would slip the halter over the horse, which this is a donkey, and you would turn it and snap it Buckle it up so he don't go anywhere, which I can't get it buckled. Which this halter goes on a miniature donkey. It, that's not, not up to scale. Then you would hook your lead rope, not a leash, right here. Actually, it's on backwards. It's from the city now. <laughs> From the city now. <laughs> All that whole lessening, you had it you had it backward the whole time? Yes, I had it backwards the whole time. And which part of New York are you from? <laughs> I'm not from New York. I'm from Moxville. Moxville, New York. Great. North Carolina. <laughs> I commute into the city. There you go. So now are we, uh, even though we were born in Alabama and we spent the first 18 years of our lives just sitting around eating dirt, are we now a southerner in your mind? No. Because you didn't know what Luden's cough drops were. Oh, no, I ate one of those, and basically, if you've ever tried to lose Luden's, it's nothing but candy, straight candy, straight up candy. They ought not call that cough drops. Um, and so, you, and you found this uh, apparatus right there. That was in Daniel's house, wasn't it, for yeah. his guest? Okay. I'd rather not talk about that. <laughs> That's why we don't have the lead rope. <laughs> <laughs> Even Daniel's grossed out now. Which <laughs> so, uh, Misty, our new friend, and you work here at the uh, Piedmont. Triad Farmer's Market. Did I say that right? Yes, you said that correctly. Thank you. Well, thank you for uh, showing us and giving us our first badge of southerness, even though we already had it. Thank you. I appreciate you coming out. And what's the number that I can call to get you fired? Um, you can't. <laughs> See y'all.